Hey, anybody that's there, I'm just adjusting my equipment here. We'll start in just a few minutes. kids are and what they're doing but there's a chance at any moment that one of them may walk in that back door that's where we all come in <laughs> out. Um, I don't expect to see any of them but they could walk in the back door um, and the horse is right outside this window and she keeps neighing so you might hear her I'm sorry <laughs> I don't know what to do about that so um, anyway the pugs though are outside so, do you have onions that do this? That's terrible, isn't it? Because <laughs> they're not good for sandwiches or any kind of thing. Um, and so, if you have any that are doing this, just... Can you eat them? You can. But they're kind of soft and they usually are a little off-tasting. So, I wouldn't do that. Just toss those. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to... Hey, Gina! The first thing I want to do is show you how to put up onions that, um, for like long-term fresh slicing. And, um, what you'll need is a pair of pantyhose. I didn't have any pantyhose because I don't wear pantyhose anymore because I work from home. Why would I put on pantyhose? Um, but I put the word out on Facebook and a couple friends had pantyhose. So, um, have a good onion that looks like this. It's firm. Um, the peel looks pretty fresh. That's the perfect onion. That's exactly what you want to put up for long-term slicing. And what I'm going to show you will keep 
onions fresh for about mm, three months or so. So maybe that'll get us through this rough patch. Because there's, you know, the grocery store's been sold out with some onions. Probably just people like me who bought three bags when they, I didn't mean to buy three bags. I bought a bag that I forgot about stuck it in the pantry. Then when I went to the grocery store, I saw that all the potatoes and onions, the potatoes were gone, the onions were mostly gone, so I picked up another bag. Uh, and then, in another day or two, Mark was at the grocery and he said, do, do we need any onions? And I just said yes. Why did I say yes? I don't know. But anyway, so here's another good one. So, get you a couple good ones together, and then... where the panty part ends that's you want to cut it off there so that you're left with just the legs this is like craft class how fun so then with your very good onions the ones that are going to last a good long time um, you want to put those slide it down in the pantyhose like that now this one the foot look the foot this was a pantyhose that didn't have toes in it so if you have pantyhose that didn't have toes in them, then no, these are not my pantyhose. Tie a knot in the bottom. All right, knot in the bottom like that. See, and then the onion won't fall out. And then you kind of want to orient the onion. I think the, this works best when I've done this before. If you orient the onion so the bottom is down and the top is up. And then once you have it in there, Stretch your pantyhose tight and tie another knot. And then, so this is what you've got. And then you can add another onion. And you just keep doing that, adding onions, turning them around, right, you know, root in, down, sprout side up. Shelby and I have had that conversation before about this. So anyway, you end up with like this, only a whole string of them. And then what you do is you can hang them up, just hang them up where they'll get air in a cool, dry place. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna put these in my pantry near the air vent. And hopefully they'll stay good like that um, for a couple months. I really like to do this in the fall when Vidalia onions are getting ready to be gone, you know, and about August you don't see Vidalias anymore. And I love Vidalia, so if you put them up like this, they'll last all winter. So look for pantyhose. <laughs> if you're cleaning out your mom's drawers or something, look for pantyhose. Now, we're going to work on um, freezing some onions. Let me set these down. Okay. So, get your onions out. I'm going to be doing this long after y'all are gone. <laughs> long after we turn this live off. Oh, I forgot. So, this probably makes, you, you would have figured this out anyway. But, with your onions, when you get ready to use one, you just cut, cut one off the bottom. Just cut it below the knot. I've done that before. Cut it above the knot. And you've got two onions on your hands, so <laughs> cut it below the knot and just take the one that's on the bottom. So, all right, let's move along. Now, I'm going to turn my um, screen down so that you can see my cutting board. And take me just a second. All right, is it still square? It's not sideways, is it? Lord, I hope it's not sideways. I'm not sure how I would fix that. Okay. Hey, Julie. So, now what we're going to do is get some onions ready for freezing. You can use onions that are a little bit older. I wouldn't use one with a big green sprout like I showed you before. But, like this one is maybe a tiny.
tiny bit starting to get soft. So this is perfect time to do this. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, just peel it. Oh, I forgot to get my onion goggles out. Okay, so how I peel an onion is I cut the top off, and then I cut it in half like that. And then I just peel the outer layer off. Leave the root on there though, because that's what holds the whole thing together till you get done. All right. So once you have it um, cut in half, then like sandwich slices, you wanna cut like that, not quite down to the root, and then cut down through here like this. If you do it right, it'll all hang together. See that? And then you can cut it like this into chunks. Alright, so you want to do this for as many onions as you want to save. <laughs> I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be doing this a lot of the afternoon. Oh, that peel came off a lot easier. Did you see that? Just want to be careful not to cut your fingers, which is really easy to do. And then turn sideways and then chop, 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 chop. All right. So now this is going to be a really quick video because we're almost done. All right. Push your onions out of the way. Get your baking sheet out. So you can use a baking sheet, you can use a dinner plate. It's just anything that will fit in your freezer. And then you'll need a piece of parchment paper or a piece of uh, wax paper. And even a piece of plastic wrap will do. Just You just don't want the onions to stick to your tray. And then, put your sprinkle your onion pieces out like this that big piece um, and you want to make sure your onions are cut in similar size pieces and they're on your tray now we can put quite a bit more onion on here probably probably one or two whole onions on there but spread them out so that they're not all piled right on top of each other so that the cold air can circulate around in there and then you just put the whole tray in the freezer. You're going to leave it there for an hour or two and these individual little pieces of onion will freeze and then once they're frozen put them in a freezer proof. See this is Ziploc. Oh, it doesn't say freezer but it is a freezer bag. It'll show you on the, bag, on the box. Um, Put your little frozen pieces of onion in here and immediately put it in the freezer. Okay, I'm gonna turn this back where it's pointing on me. Um, hey, Linda. It's great to see you. Uh, whoops, I undid my phone. That's gonna be tragic. All right. <laughs> so anyway, then you put that in the freezer. Oh, I said that already. Put your, put your pieces of your onion in your bag your bag immediately in the freezer once you've put the little frozen pieces in there because they thaw in no time at all. I mean no time at all they will thaw out. Then what you do is you just keep this handy like I keep mine in my, hey Joanna, I keep mine right here in my freezer and when a recipe calls for an on like a cut up onion and I don't have time, I don't want to cut one up or I don't have time to cut one up. I just scoop some out of my bag of frozen onion pieces and so that's a great way to save some onions or to keep onions like if you like sweet ones and they're not available in the winter um, or if you have some you just need to do something with before they grow a big green sprout out of the top of them um, and it's so easy I mean come on that's easy you can anybody can do that just cut it up spread it on a tray stick it in the freezer hour or two Get it out, put it in a zip freezer safe, it has to be freezer safe, Ziploc bag, or any freezer safe container. Then squeeze as much air out as possible, stick it back in the freezer. That was easy. <laughs> and that's how you deal with three bags of onions. So if anybody wants to come over and help me with onions, I'll be happy to have you. <laughs> anyway.
Anyway, does anybody have any questions? I can't imagine that you would have questions about that. But anyway. Okay, well, I want to remind everybody we have a podcast. It's my daughter Sarah and I back last summer before we were quarantined. <laughs> and it's called Dorsless Sports, and we it's mother, daughter, adventures, and takeout. And we drive around to get takeout. And what always happens is that the conversation goes off in the weeds. <laughs> we have mother-daughter issues we talk about. Sometimes we fight about things. I, all kinds of things happen. So, <laughs> if you have children, you understand. Or if you have a mother, you understand. <laughs> Sometimes us mothers aren't so easy to deal with. Okay, well, um, anyway, I hope you'll join me over on Loaves and Dishes on my website or on the Facebook Loaves and Dishes page. I'm going to try, while we're all quarantined, to keep doing these live videos at least once a week on Sunday afternoons at 3 o'clock. Um, but if there's a project I'm working on in the kitchen, like three bags of onions, I will um, include you in that too so you can see how to do those things and how easy they are and how you can easily do it too. Um, because we're going to have to be careful, I think, with the things that we buy for a while. I, I mean, I've been guilty of throwing out half of an onion, you know, it's in the refrigerator. But I won't be doing that anymore. I'll be cutting it up and freezing it and sticking it in my little freezer bag. Because you can keep adding to it once you've got your onions in there. If you have a half an onion you need to chop up before it goes bad, do that. And stick it in your little freezer bag and then it's ready and you can use it later. And once those onions are good in there for about a year, I've used them like that for a year. So anyway, if nobody has any questions, I'll see y'all Sunday at 3 o'clock Eastern Time whatever time that is for you <laughs> and um, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be dressing up some ramen noodles with stuff you have at home which reminds me I need to get the ingredient list up on the Facebook page but it will be easy common ingredients that you have at home so some maybe some meat that you've already cooked this week um, hopefully you've got some chicken broth from the store if not you can make some really easily or you can even use um, like chicken bouillon that's fine too um, some green veggies like spinach um, and other things. So thanks for watching and I'll see you Sunday at 3 or maybe later this week if I do some other kind of project. So see you. Bye-bye.